this stage of the build, I'm now working with my power switch for cycling the unit on and off. It's a KCD2 switch. And that being said, one of the biggest questions that I always get asked is how do we wire these switches? Well, you can see on the side of the switch, and it can be on either side. I'm going to say that again. The writing can be on either side. It says one, two, and of course, three is up here, but there's no contact. So the two indicates your out of the switch, meaning it's going to put power out, which would be a red lead. Why a red lead? Because it's providing power going into our DC power supply. The bottom lead, which is right here on number one, this will be power in. So we have power going in, and this will be a black lead, and power out, which will be a red lead. Now, many of you, if you're paying attention, and I hope you are, realize that the IEC I just wired had a black lead. You guessed it. That's where that black lead will be terminated. And then, of course, the red lead right here will be terminated so that we can run, once again, the switch going to our power supply to cycle it on and off. Now, on the opposite side, you're going to find that there is no writing. And a lot of guys panic. They're like, well, what am I going to do? Well, this switch works on a power in and a neutral in and out. So if you think of that, it's very simple. If we know that our red is the out and our black lead is the in, then you would just reverse that on this side of the switch, which means our neutral in would be here and our neutral out would be here.